All right, guys, the power of journaling and how it's important for addiction recovery. So my good friend Andy is creating a personalized journal and it inspired me to talk a little bit about the power of journals and why they've been so helpful for me on my journey. And especially when I was quitting addiction from weed, alcohol, all that stuff, uh, journals have been a huge part of that process. So uh, you can see here I have two journals. So this is my deep work journal and I recommend everyone have a couple. Uh, this is this one is like where I write nice, <laughs> like really like put in effort to it. Uh, I do my Spanish lessons in this. I talk about, I do my addiction recovery work in this. This one is just like a mini one. So one, I can carry it around. I can throw it in a bag. I can also just have it in my bed. So this is the one I use before bed and when I wake up in the morning because I can just scribble in it. I don't have to be very, you know, thoughtful or neat about it. I can just kind of write what's ever on my mind. So now you might be asking, okay, why are journals so important? Well, the first thing I, I believe is that there's something powerful about getting things out of your head and into a physical manifestation. And I know for a lot of you guys, and I was like this as well, and a lot of people in general, uh, we like to ruminate. And I was definitely a ruminator. I would think about something for days, weeks, months, and it would just be like this swimming thought. As soon as I started to journal and write it down, kind of get it out of my head and onto physical paper, something happened where it almost like I had an emotional release. I stopped thinking about it so much. It kind of just disappeared into like the reality of life, which sounds kind of like hippy dippy. If like, if you've never journaled before, that doesn't really quite make sense, but it's something, it really is powerful. And I know that I don't really ruminate anymore. If I have a thought, I write it down quickly. I get it out of my head and then therefore it's no longer swimming around and I'm kind of free of it. So that's something I really like about journaling. The first thing. I actually just took a quick pause to write something down that was in my head in this journal actually and it helped kind of, like I said, just whew, I can take a brief deep breath. It's not swimming around anymore. It can be, it's a way to be honest with yourself too and that goes into number two. You get, it's a way to really connect to yourself, to your true self, to your authentic self in a way that you know you can't really do with another person. When I'm with another person, I do filter what I say to a degree. Like I obviously don't just write down all my deep dark insecurities. Uh, with this though, you can because no one's going to judge you. It's for you and you alone. And you can really write out whatever is on your mind and heart, I guess. Like, so for example, if I'm having an insecurity about something, if I'm feeling anxious about something, that might not be something I want to tell like my homies or like somebody I'm working with or something like that, or a girl I'm seeing, uh, <laughs> definitely not that. So th that's where the journal comes in handy because I can just put it into the journal, get it out of my head and really process through it myself which leads into the next part about why journals are so powerful. It's a great healing modality. It's really important to be able to work through things on your own. And I believe, and I have as well, I believe it's really important to have sponsors, a mentor, a coach. Uh, mentor is probably the best word um, that can help guide you through life. But they're not gonna be there for you 24 seven. They'll hold your hand to a degree, but at some point you need, it's important to learn, I think for everybody to be autonomous, to be able to, kind of write their own path with obviously the help of other people in the universe, but really be able to make their own decisions and not need to rely so heavily on other people. And that's why the journal is so great because it's a way that you can kind of get in touch with yourself and be able to be your own coach. Because once you write things down on the journal and you kind of look it over, you're like, oh, okay, like I can, I can kind of see this objectively. It's almost like as if you were coaching someone and someone gave you like a sheet of paper with a bunch of different writings on it about something they're going through it would be a lot easier to kind of look at it and be like, okay, like I see what this guy is going through. This kind of makes a lot of sense now. I'm playing around with different camera angles here. So that's the new angle. Now coming back to the journals, yeah, essentially it's a way to start to, yeah, write your own path and be able to look at what you're writing and kind of make sense of it without the emotion. So that's really what kind of happens is when you start to journal, you realize all these thoughts, when you put them into paper, they lose that emotional charge. They become just words. And words, just words are a lot easier to process than words with like a whole emotional story behind it with anxiety, with stress, with fear, guilt, anxiety, all, shame, all that, right? That sounds exhausting just hearing that. And that's what goes around in most people's heads. Put my own at, at many times of, of the day. Like I'm obviously no saint here. I'm, uh, I'm working on my own stuff as well every single day. Some days are I'm more peaceful than others for sure. Uh, especially where I'm in now in life, like I have a lot going on and I have a lot of new things that are being presented. So new things that I've never dealt with before. So therefore I feel a bit of stress about it. And the journal is a great way that's been helping me kind of process through it, not get so attached to the story, be able to work through an issue that comes up and all that. So now how can you practically start to use the journal? Let's say you've never written in one before. Like, what do I do? Do I just start writing? Yes, <laughs> just start writing whatever comes in your mind. 
Now that may be a little abstract, but like, okay, man, like that's an easy answer. Uh, what are some like, what's a game plan I can do to start, you know, journaling effectively? Well, what I do and what I started doing when I started to journal were a couple things. So before I went to bed, I would write what I'm grateful for. And this one was really powerful. And I wrote down three things that went well during the day because I had a lot of negativity and I thought my life wasn't going very well. You know, which to be fair, it was at one point heading in a wrong, uh, really bad direction. Uh, eventually though, I said, okay, you know what? Every day something good positive is happening. And so writing those things down really started to change my perspective on, on life in, in itself. After that, I would write three things that are good about myself. So character assets, I like to call. So these are three things that are things that other people enjoy, I enjoy, uh, that uh, bring value to others. And actually, that was it. So that was it for the evening, right? And this was really kind of what, why I did it before I went to bed is because it primed my subconscious while I slept to be able to start to think positively about myself. I'm sure it seeped into my dreams a little bit, which was kind of trippy, but um, I noticed that my dreams were better as well. And then I woke up feeling positive and ready to go. So what I would do when I woke up then is that I would open the journal and I would write down, same thing, three things I'm grateful for, maybe more even, um, three character assets. And I do this one today still. And what I started doing recently was adding three things I have to do today. And this one was really important because what you'll find from Andy, who uh, eventually, will, he's been on the channel before, but you'll see him again. This is really good because he's a high net worth guy. He makes a lot of money. And he really helped me just see like, yo, like you don't have to do like a billion things. Almost that work addiction kind of mindset where I have to be working all day, every single day, and I can't stop. He's, what he does is he just focuses on three important tasks that are no, like, I have to get these done, right? These are the most important things to do. And then if I do other stuff at the, uh, after that, great. If not, that's okay because I did the three most important things. So this has really helped me kind of organize my day, especially at the beginning of the day when my mind's fresh and I want to be kind of, you know, I don't want to be stressed all day. So this has really alleviated the stress and allowed me to focus in on what's the most important. And then once I get those done, I get to kind of chill. <laughs> and uh, I usually keep working to some degree, but uh, I, I get to at least relax internally knowing that I did what I set out to do at the beginning of the day. So, so those are a couple of ways that you can start implementing the journals right away. Obviously, there's more advanced stuff like diving into like healing, trauma, trauma work. I'm definitely going to do more videos on journaling, so I'll talk about that more. There's a really powerful one by Byron Katie. It's called The Work. And it's a book called The Work, and I would check it out if you guys haven't already. And it's a great way to overcome fear. So I still use it today. I just did it, you know, during this session here when I was filming, and it really helped just kind of really see the truth of the of what is to say, as they say in Buddhism. So I'm gonna make a video on that in the called The Work by Byron Katie. Um, other than that, guys, yeah, I uh, would really recommend picking up a couple of journals. These were each like ten bucks each, and they've taken me a long, long way. Uh, I'm very grateful for them and I'm grateful to be able to talk to you about it because I think it can really help a lot of you guys start to get out of your own head and put those thoughts and dreams and hopes into action. Uh, action, action, action. That's the key of recovery. Got to be taking action every day. And this is a great way to be able to do that and start to be able to do that. Really? Yeah, we're really working hard on you know what's important to you and how, how you can uh, make, make big improvements in your life. So, so with that, guys, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like, comment, share, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.